Hi guys, welcome to another Wolfpack video with me, Dan. Today we're going to be talking about the fact that Neto, Pedro Neto, has finally been sold to Chelsea. Lots and lots to talk about, so stick around. I'll see you in just a sec. So guys, before we get started, make sure that you're doing us a big favour, make sure you're liking the video, make sure you're subscribing if you're new, and make sure you're ringing that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. That would be absolutely awesome. So let's get straight into it. Pedro Neto, sold to Chelsea. I'm 50-50 about it. I'm going to tell you how I feel about it and everything in just a second. Let's go over how this story came to be. So... Fabrice Hawkins broke the news from RMC Sport. He says an exclusive Pedro Neto is to sign at Chelsea. Talks at final stage between Chelsea and Wolverhampton. The player wants to join and the agreement is in principle. He then went on to say a little bit later on, a total agreement reached between Chelsea and Wolverhampton. 60 million euros uh, plus bonuses. Final details about the contract and then Pedro Neto will fly to London. The winger has already said goodbye to the dressing room. Uh, let's go on to Liam Keane's stories about this as well. So he goes on to say that Pedro Noto is close to Wolves' exit. Fee agreed £51 million with £2.57 million in bonuses. The medical will take place soon. So that medical is happening probably today, to be fair. This will make Neto's uh, club record sale with a full total with the bonus coming in just under £54 million. The previous record was Matthias Nunes' sale to Man City for £53 million. And we all know how that turned out. Um, what else? Da, 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 da. Oh, this is really interesting. Spurs and Chelsea both had player cash offers for Neto rejected by Wolves, with Spurs offering, including midfielder Oliver Skip. Wolves rejected another cash offer from Chelsea before agreeing to this fee. Uh, he also goes on to say about uh, Ajax's um, uh, Carlos Forbes is of interest, but nothing advanced. Um, so, yeah, what do we think about... The price, first of all. Um, I think this price is fairly okay. Um, I think like we could have got a little bit more. But I'm pretty happy, all things considered, just because of Neto's injury record, really. Um, I just think that's really what held him back from being a, a, a little bit more um, in terms of an investment. But all being said, we've had Neto for quite some time now. Obviously, he was not that much money when we bought him. Um, I don't think he was even, uh, 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 I think he was just over £10 million. Pounds. Came in with, uh, with um, what was his name, Bruno Giordo, um, at the same time. And, you know, no one really even heard of, of Pedro Neto. Uh, and, and so this is uh, another one of those almost like Max Kilman sales where um, we, we've got a player that was bought for a considerably less uh, and sold for considerably more. So, um, yeah, all, all, all things considered, happy about the price. How do I feel about Neto actually going? I think this was always going to happen, guys. I feel like we'd already sort of said our goodbyes to Neto. Um, he got obviously injured last season, and his injury record hasn't been the best. While we're on the subject of that, though, let's just look at this tweet by Charlie Gregory. Uh, Charlie says, Pedro Neto is undoubtedly our best player, but in his five years at Wolves, he's averaged 15 Premier League starts per season and he's made 145 appearances for club and country and he's missed 108 games through injury. So when you, when you take all of that into consideration, I think that Neto going now is actually it benefits everybody really. Um, because I just feel like Pedro Neto is one of those players for Wolves that it doesn't really fit the mould because we try and play him all the time. And with Pedro Neto, really, what you need to do is is 
play him and just, you know, just play him gradually and build his minutes up. And if Chelsea fans are watching, I think that's that's what you'll end up doing because it's like Gary O'Neill said, you've got a shitload of wingers. He said that, probably not the, not not to that degree, but he said something of that degree uh, on the uh, podcast uh, for Express and Star. He said, look, you've got a load of wingers. Um, and it's just quite, quite ironic now that Pedro Neto is, is one of those wingers. Um, but th- the fact that you've got so many is that is um, is really good because you can you can really build up Pedro Neto's minutes and I just don't think Wolves ever really could do that. He's such a star player for Wolves and we 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 just overplayed him far too much and because of that he he was injured left right and centre. Now he probably will still get injuries over at Chelsea. I just think that if they're really clever about it and just play him gradually and build him up, you know. I think that if you if you get a fit Neto, you've basically what got one of the best wingers in the Premier League, if not the world. Some of the things that Neto did last season and some of the things he's done in his career, really, since maybe the COVID season, have just been fantastic. Like, he scores goals for fun. He, he, he assists for fun. He gets into some absolutely fantastic positions. He's explosive. He can use both feet. He's technical ability is fantastic he can beat his man and honestly there's not a lot that he can't really do really to be honest as a winger so you've definitely got a fantastic player Chelsea I just think that it's just about really just pre- preserving his minutes and and being clever about where how how much you play him and you know I think if you do that you've got a fantastic sign in and um, all the best to Neto, you know, for, from everybody at the Wolf Pack, and I'm sure a lot of Wolves fans in the comments. Let me know what you guys think, but I think this is a a good a good time to to sell Neto. To be honest, I think that you know he, he's been an absolute servant for the club, and you know he, he did get us in, in into into Europe with the Nuno's team, and we we saw some some good things from him, but. I think we I think he deserves a little bit more really. It's one of those it's almost like the Ruben Neves story, wasn't it? Even though he went to Al Al I just feel like I just feel like um it's it's that time, do you know what I mean? I I don't I'm not shocked about it. I'm a little bit saddened obviously because of his ability and everything. But I feel like just for the player himself, I feel like this is a good move for him and um yeah, I, I I'm just fairly positive about it really. Um, I don't feel like, I, I mean, we probably need to get some more, you know, players in. And I think the the money that we've made from this, you know, we can really, really get a, a really good centre back now for that replacement for, for Kilman. And, uh, you know, we've, we've got some decent wingers coming in with Rodrigo Gomez being one of them. And I feel like if Chiquinho stays as well, I, I, I've always said that Chiquinho reminds me a lot of Neto. Obviously not to the calibre, but... The style of play that 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 Chiquinho plays and and how explosive he is when he gets forward really reminds me a lot of Neto. So you know if you polish Chiquinho up, um, you use Rodrigo Gomez, but then you get yourself someone of the caliber of Neto. Maybe obviously not to the extent because of you know you probably there's not many Pedro Netos available at the moment. But there's definitely some wingers out there that that Wolves can that, that can get now, and we can start to start to really progress forward and um I think this is a, a good sale for Wolves I mean I really didn't want Ait Nori to leave I really didn't want Joe Gomez to leave I didn't want Cunha to leave and if you're going to give me all of those including Neto I think Neto's the one that I'd really want to get rid of and it sounds awful and and, and it's nothing to do with the, his work ethic it's nothing to do with him as a player because he is unreal I will never forget his goal against uh, Albion. I'll never forget the assists that he's given uh, against top teams like Spurs and um, uh, Chelsea. And, you know, the list goes on. This guy shows up on big occasions and I, I feel like, you know, this is a this is a really good deal for all parties. And, 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 and that's it, really. Um, what do you guys think about this deal? You know, this is um, another big, big, sell, big, big uh, sell, selling point for Wolves. This this transfer window. You've got Kilman in there. You've got Pedro Neto. I don't think there'll be any more key players leaving now. I feel like Gary O'Neill will want to build upon what what's gone now, and I feel like the fact that you know Neto has been 
he's been basically in a bidding war for some time now. Liverpool were after him, Spurs were after him, City were after him, and I feel like Chelsea just really wanted to make something quickly happen. And yeah, it is interesting that we had a few players, um, you know, offered to us uh, according to Liam Keane. Um, but I just don't feel like you really get any benefit out of getting a player um, after Neto going. I just feel like you just get the money and then and then you do something with that money. Do you know what I mean? I just don't feel like a player swap would have been really that good, really. Um, you could argue there's a load of players that we could have had in his stead, but probably not anyone that Chelsea or Spurs or, or anybody wanted to offer of his calibre, and I feel like with the money we've got, we can get someone of that calibre or just a little bit less. So, yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you're doing the big things. You know it by now. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and ring that notification bell. It's been a fantastic uh, pre-season uh, for, for our channel. We've found some massive growth and everything, so a massive thank you to, to everyone that's been involved in making that possible. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you guys on the next one in a bit.